Okay, so let's have a look at the journal. Sora's story. How Akari's heart was was what saved Sora. The strong bond between them became light. Pulled him back from the darkness. Promising Kari to come back, Sora returned to Holobastion, seal the final keyhole, and save Riku. The keyhole was sealed, but Ansem and Riku were nowhere to be found. Ansem had left till his final plan. Obviously, reading this as well, kind of fill in some of the blanks about the story. Sora and company followed him to a world shrouded in, shrouded in darkness. Destroying Ansem could restore all the worlds taken by the Heartless, but it would also mean those worlds being disconnected as they once were. Once every world was isolated, divided from the others by impassable walls. Once every world was isolated, divided from the others by impassable walls. The power of darkness demolished those walls. In the world's return, traveling to other worlds will no longer be possible. Sora may never see his friends again. So it's quite weird that, like, so the world's returned, but Sora didn't return to his world. Which is um, interesting, because everybody else seemed to return to the world. I, I guess they returned to their worlds, because we saw um, Aladdin and uh, Jasmine was back with Aladdin, and we saw people on the original, so... Thing I like about Sora is he always has a smile on his face even when he's about to kill himself. <laughs> Still he's resolved to fight this way into the very core of darkness where Ansem lies in wait. He believes no matter how deep the darkness, a light shines within. Uh all right, Atlanta. Oh well, we haven't read any of this for a long time. Ariel, the princess of Atlant <clears throat> Atlantica, yearned to go to the other worlds, but her dream could not be realized as King Triton, her father, forbade such notions. Ursula took advantage of this co coax, this to coax Ariel into leading her to tri tri Triton, Triton's trident, Jesus, that's a mouthful, which she then seized for herself. To atone for a mistake, Ariel went to Ursula's lair with Sora, Donald, and Goofy to retrieve the trident. After her marais were defeated, Ursula used the trident's power to become a giant, but giant but was vanquished in the end. And the Trident's power saw found the keyhole and sealed it. Jack the Pumpkin King of Halloween Town worked with Dr. Finkelstein and created a heart to control the Heartless for the Halloween Festival. Boogie Boogie, plotting to use the heart to take over Halloween Town, had Lock, Shock and Barrel to steal it. When Saw and Company arrived at his manor, Oogie Boogie tried to summon a swarm of Heartless with his heart but failed Evidently, the heart was incomplete. After Sora and his friends defeated him, Oogie Boogie turned into a giant monster, becoming one of one with his manor. However, he was beaten again and disappeared along with the manor. Sora sealed the keyhole in Halloween Town. Sora and company trapped inside Hook's ship searched for Kairi and Wendy, who were locked away somewhere below deck. When they found them, they learned that something was wrong with Kairi. She remained dormant, as if she had lost her heart. Just when Sora thought Kairi was within reach, Riku snatched her away. Sora and the others pursued them to the main deck where Hook and his men waited. With Peter Pan's help, they defeated the pirates, but Riku and Kairi were nowhere to be found. For now, Sora could only hope to see her again. When he sealed the keyhole at the clock tower, Sora found a gummy block. Will he be able to find Kairi again with his new block? With Tinkerbell now in the party, Sora and his friends continued their journey. All right, so let's take a look now at Ansem's report. Reread the first one just to get like the, the, a, a proper overview of the whole thing. Much of my life has been dedicated to the pursuit of knowledge. That knowledge has guarded this world well. Not a soul's doubt. I am blessed with many people's smiles and respect. But though I am called a sage, there are many things. There are things I don't understand. I believe darkness sleeps in every heart, no matter how pure. Given the chance, the smallest drop can spread and swallow the heart. I have witnessed it many times. Darkness. Darkness of the heart. How is it born? How does it come to affect us? So, as ruler of this world, I must find the answers. I must find them before the world is lost to those taken by the darkness. It is my duty to expose what this darkness really is. I should conduct the following experiments. Extract the darkness from a person's heart. Cultivate darkness in a pure heart. Both suppress and amplify the darkness within. The experiments cause the test subject's heart to collapse, including those of the most stalwart. How fragile our hearts are. So that's interesting. So, like, he's tried to, he's running an experiment of trying to take the darkness out of somebody's heart, and their hearts just collapse. So, that kind of like backs up his theory that even. 
like the purest heart still needs to have darkness in it for it to be able to survive. My treatments produce no sign of recovery. I can find those who had completely lost their hearts beneath the castle. Okay, so he imprisoned them all? He imprisoned them all, like, all the heartless people that he'd experimented on underneath the castle? Sometime later, I went below and was greeted by the strangest sight. Creatures that seemed born of darkness. What are they? Are they truly sentient beings? Could they be the shadows of those who lost their hearts in my experiments? I think we've already kind of knew that from what we saw happen to Sora in Horror of Bastion. He kind of took on that um, persona and that role of the heartless. Um, and yeah, he was kind of like roaming around as one of those creatures, but Corio was able to bring him back. So yeah, kind of like makes sense. The shadows are crawl beneath the castle. Are they the people who lost their hearts or incarnation, incarnations of darkness or something entirely beyond imagination? All my knowledge has provided no answer. One thing I am sure of is that they are entirely devoid of emotion. Perhaps further study will unlock the mysteries of the heart. Fortunately, there is no shortage of test samples. They are multiplying underground even as I write this report. They still need a name. Those who lack hearts. I will call them Heartless. Okay, so it was Dr. Anson that originally came up with the, the name Heartless. Okay, it's interesting. Heartless appear in groups and are multiplying rapidly. I provided them both living and non-living samples. They responded only to the living. They seem to multiply after absorbing something from the living creatures. Their prey vanishes without a trace. I believe the Heartless are taking hearts. They are born from those who've lost their hearts and thrive on heart seeds from others. Hearts taken by the heartless become heartless themselves. It's the actual hearts that become the heartless, not the actual the, the people themselves. So basically, I guess their heart and their body separate, and their heartless take the heartless take the hearts. Interesting. That's what the heartless are. They're people's hearts. Though I lack proof, I am confident in this hypothesis. I must also study their behavioural principles. Though they lack emotion, they do seem to have some intelligence. How to communicate with them? It's just occurred to me. Could they be the darkness in people's hearts? To study heartless behaviour, I picked one out of the ob for observation. It's wiggled its antennae and as, and as if I'm sensing a target headed deep into the castle. As if sensing a target. In the deepest part of the castle, its antenna began vibrating, as if searching for something. Suddenly, a strange door appeared. I had never known of its existence. It had a large keyhole, but didn't seem to be locked. So I opened the door. What I saw on the other side mystified me. What was that powerful mass of energy? That night, I observed a great meteor shower in the sky. Could it be related to the door that I have opened? A massive core of energy lay beneath the door sought by the heartless. It may be, it may well be the ultimate goal of all heartless. But what is that energy? I have devised a hypothesis based upon the observations of the heartless. The heartless feed on other hearts, and they yearn for the energy core. That thing beyond the door must be a heart, heart two, the heart of the world. There is no proof, but having felt that immense energy, I'm certain that was the heart of the world. The Heartless are trying to take hearts not only from all living creatures, but from the world itself. But what do they, they mean to do with the heart of the world? Okay, interesting. I'm now studying material from the meteors that rained down that fateful night. What to find? The material is foreign to our world. It is elastic to to the touch, and when two pieces are combined, they bond easily. None of the records I've scoured even mention such a substance. Was it introduced to this world when I opened that door? I wonder how many other such materials drift through the atmosphere of this tiny world. I wish I could soar off to find out. Could there be uncharted worlds up there? My curiosity never ceases to grow, but I should stop sp speaking of such unrealistic dreams. For now, there is no way to venture outside this world. My people and I are all but prisoners of this tiny place. Place or palace? Place. Simply astonishing. Today I had a guest from another world. He is a king. And has 
his vessel is built of the material that is composed of the meat. Okay, so the the material he's talking about is, is the gummy. And I wonder if that's like what we saw when we was in the end of the world, where I kind of like said, right, went through this big cavern and this big cave, and it was just like a gummy cave. Um, and I guess maybe is that potentially is World's End like Anson's original place? Because we never really, I don't think we ever knew where Anson came from. We know that Squall, I think, said that Anson was from their world. I can't remember if they actually said what it was. So World Ends could potentially be Anson's world, original world. I don't know. He called the piece Scummy Blocks. It seems that my opening the door has opened a path to the interworld travel. We talked for countless hours, but one story in particular caught my interest. That of a key called the Keyblade. Keyblade is said to hold phenomenal power. One legend says its wielder saved the world, while another says that he wrought chaos and ruined upon it. I must know what this keyblade is. Key opens doors. It must be connected to the door that I have opened. Just as people have hearts, so do worlds. Same can be said of our star, of the stars in the night sky. And deep within each world lies a door to its heart. The heartless desire those hearts. Okay, so that is why the heartless are taking over and destroying the worlds, because they're not trying to get just the hearts of like the princesses, I guess. They're also trying to like, take the hearts of the worlds. Okay. Born out of the darkness in people's hearts, they seek to return to a greater heart. Yes, that's it. The heartless come from people's hearts, as does the darkness. Is the core of the world's heart the world of the of the heartless? I will pursue the answer there and become all-knowing. My path is set. I shall seek out the wielder of the Keyblade and the princesses. My body is too frail for such a journey, but I must do this. I will cast it off and plunge into the depths of darkness. All right, so there's there's one journal that's missing, and I wonder there because we haven't read anything about the princess, but he does touch on about the wielder of the keyblade and the princess. So I wonder if journal eight, wherever journal eight is, um, I wonder if that kind of um, covers that. But um, we'll have to see if we can find out where that is. Um, one who fights the heartless upon reclaiming the keyblade from his rival Riku, Sora sacrificed his heart to be free Kai, to free Kari and become a heartless. Kari's deep feelings for Sora restored him. Now he must confront Anson, the seeker of darkness. When Kari lost her heart, Riku allied himself with Maleficent to save her. Riku is actually the rightful master of the keyblade, but once he chose darkness over light, the weapon chose Sora instead. Okay. Anson exploited Riku's weakness of heart and possessed him. Sora and Riku always hung out together when their island vanished. When their island vanished, Kari lost her heart. It turned out that it was hidden within Sora. As one of the princesses with the power to unlock the secret keyhole, Kari restored Sora's heart when he was turned into a heartless. Magician. Skilled in magic, but short-tempered and stubborn. Because Mickey said to, the f follow, to follow the key bearer, he once left Sora and fought to follow Riku. But friendship soon led him back to Sora. Donald made his debut in in The Wise Little Hen in 1934. After the Royal Knights, he avoids fighting whenever possible Mickey's most loyal subject. Because Mickey said to follow the key he wants to Sora follow Riku. The same thing that we saw there on um, uh, Donald. Pure princess, gentle and pure as snow. She's one of the princess who needs to open the final keyhole and was captured by the Heartless. Her world has already been swallowed by the darkness. Oh. Hardworking girl, often bullied by a stepmother and sister. She's one of the princes who turns Yeah, okay, so that's fine. I think it's all basically going to say the same. Sleeping Beauty's real name is Aurora, if you didn't know. Prince who has changed into a hideous beast because of his selfish heart. Bell has helped heal their loneliness. He suffered due to his ugliness. To save Bell, he made his way to Hollow Bastion alone. Sorceress of awesome power, she tried to use the Heartless for her own evil ends, but the Heartless were actually using her. She turned into a huge dragon when cornered by Sora and his friends. Uh, Mr. became a huge dragon when the Keyblade released the darkness in her heart. The dragon wielded both Mr. power and the terrible force of darkness. As a researcher and ruler of his world, he studied the Heartless and, did, and delved into the many secrets of the world. While studying the Studying the heart and the darkness within it, he was possessed by darkness and ultimately destroyed his own world. 
He sacrificed his body to attain great power and lesser, later possessed Riku to regain a physical presence. Failure to stop him means the end of all worlds. Don't worry, we stopped him. Just about Dumbo and all the summons we got, it's fine. Just about all the princesses. Let's stop this. This is just really more about their actual background. Done. I don't think we need to kind of. Yeah, it's more about like each of um, the characters and like their actual background in like the Disney stories. I thought we'd like already read like all of these, but I guess not. to get rid of uh, all of these. How many... Okay, we've got two Heartless there that we haven't found. Heartless only the monkey it runs as it pleases, rarely paying attention to its surrounds. Saw a spot as it will call forth numerous allies, all armed with slingshots. How many did we actually miss here? Oh, and we've got records. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right, so we've got twelve enemies that we haven't faced in the game. I think it's pretty set for all of these. Oh, shit, makes me laugh. Behemoth. Arch Behemoth. Don't know how to... ...beat them, do we? Never actually found a way... How many Dalmatians have we got? We've got 57 of the 101. So, still got quite a few Dalmatians to find. Trinity list wise, we've got loads of these still to find. Um, I know where the yellow one is. We need to go back to the Colosseum and get the, the yellow one. Um, I don't think there's like a. I don't think there's like a. Um, thing where you have to get like sc certain scores on all of the the mini games so all right let's head to the gummy ship while we're here go see if we can't uh do the hercules cup we was close on um friday night i think we was close to doing it uh, but we just kind of like got defeated right at the end Definitely not going to try the question mark up because, uh, yeah, we are not ready to be fighting Sephiroth just yet. All right, let's see how we go, how we fare here. and keep my health up obviously we've got to deal with cloud when cloud comes so Wait! 
slowly, slowly at the minute. Try and take my time. See ya. Heal. Oh, yeah. Time. Really, Clouds? So goofy. Oh, she got wrecked. Battleship got destroyed. Heal! 
that the best you can do? I'm in trouble with uh, Cloud tonight. and megalipses so maybe we'll have to um, bring those to the table when we're fighting cloud on Bold and Goofy here. We'll get through this fire and then we'll heal them because the next one's up against the um, mushroom thing, right? This is like our chance to like heal up and get ready for the cloud fight. of that special maneuver. Ha! <laughs> 
And Sora's strength like into battleships is just insane. Insane how quickly we can get rid of these guys now. Considering how long it was taking us before. Right, so the key here is not to lock on to Hercules, or else you have. A, I found that I have a, like a job like picking up the barrels. So, Come on. Oh, don't do that now, Hercules. You jerk. You jerk. There we go. May have wasted a Megalixer in the process, but... We beat him. We're the champs. Hero at the Coliseum. Oh yeah. Goofy obtained Herc's shield. Wow! And I didn't even hold back. Now I finally know what you mean about strength of heart. Mine comes from Donald and Goofy. Come again? If we stick together, we're unbeatable. Not even Hercules stands a chance. With these guys beside me, I'm ready for anything. But that's not exactly what... Of course. Your friends give you strength. Isn't that right, Phil? The three of you together make great heroes. And as a team, I'm sure you can overcome anything at the olympia keyblade we learned yellow trinity what does this one do then this oh is this the keyhole i guess this is the keyhole right yeah, look at that. Um, could we have a look at the, uh, there we look at the Hades Cup. Oh, 
Oh my. Start at the 49th seed? Are you for real? Oh boy. This is like an endurance then. It's going to be quite the endurance fight. I, I'm pretty sure we're not going to do it tonight, but geez, what an, in, uh, an interesting concept this is. myself like in health is probably going to be like the hardest thing throughout this whole thing And keeping that like in the air is pretty difficult. Goofy obtained the Genji shield. We already get one of those. Keep on like top of the healing. Hopefully Donald and Goofy can kind of like just like pick themselves up and
do like with this game like that you re replenish MP as um, you kind of go. Uh, time to heal unfortunately. I kind of wish. Oh, we got Power of Ice. Oh, nice. We've got Blizzaga now. Well, I've been using a lot of magic spells, I'll be honest. But always good to get the uh, the next progression. first and then we'll deal with these little guys afterwards. Seems like every like five to ten battles we get like a more of a, a boss fight. So I've got to like, go through like one of every boss that we've um, fought throughout the game. Might 
try and help us to find those missing journal entries, potentially. Well, then, like, he kept, like, regen regenerating all his health there. It was weird. on my items which isn't particularly great So with Donald and Goofy to have a bit more health. Cerberus. I die. Do I have to start all over the way from the beginning again. Okay, so I can start from 40. Okay. That's not so bad, but geez, that's pretty brutal still. Pretty brutal. Um, okay, so I'm just going to head back to Traverse Town, I think. Speak to Perk. Junior Hero. 
All right, let's warp drive to Traverse Town, and I will um, very quickly, because it's been bugging me, go to the wizard. And we're going to go to uh, push over this yellow trinity now that we have it. That's interesting. It's not what I um, actually thought it was going to be. Uh, can I please open the chest? Uh, excuse me? Really? I maybe try gravity. Force. AP up. Hey, who's going to have that? the um, offensive items. Hey, we got Dalmatians one to three. Fly away. One thing I want to just check, and I, I think in Traverse Town here. Two shot and he was freaking black bomb sort of thing. This is crazy now. I've like increased sort of strength. So we did the, the thing over here with the abilities. Um, Yeah, we did the thing here with the um, um, this. I don't know where that unlocks anything.
Bit of a mystery. It's what that did. We'll just check quickly in Traverse Town, but yeah, we're gonna probably bring it to a close real soon. Good promise we made. Surely I had to have unlocked a secret somewhere, right? Dragons like crazy, like in Hollow Bastion when we got there before, it was taking like forever to destroy these things, but now. We are dispatching them with like ease. It's crazy. How much like a bit of leveling and a bit of strength like really helps. shot these guys now. How mad it is. now to see how like many shots that really takes to uh, dispatch people now all right so that kind of answers my question from earlier i like earlier on in the gameplay i said uh, i thought originally i had to get that secret that was there we would need to um, knock the barrels down or something, but no, we can simply just hide them across there now if we haven't done that already in the Trinity map on the other side, so... I did enjoy, like, coming back to, like, areas that you, like, start the game off in and, like, see, like... What else you can find and how different um, they are once you've kind of looked at, unlocked some better abilities.
bit of that like secret there was just for the um the quarry was down here to get that little thing that we got from there possibly so we haven't looked at um the keyblade did we which was the olympia i think yeah the hercules keyblade We also got, I think, a new weapon for the Violetta of the Lord Fortune. And then we got the Hercules shield for G shield. But obviously, we have the Mighty Shield, which I think is their, the ultimate weapons. We got the ultimate weapons for both. Uh, oh man, um, for both Donald and Goofy, but. Um, Yeah, it just kind of takes us back through to this main area here. I think there's still about three postcards we haven't found in Traverse Town as well, but... Um, it's all kind of stuff that we'll be dealing with upstream because guys that brings us to the end of our kingdom hearts one let's play so yeah it's been great fun um thoroughly enjoyed picking this up and playing through it and um yeah i'll be playing like i said playing this off stream to platinum it's gonna take quite a while if i have to do probably two more playthroughs um but yeah on I think next week uh next wednesday we will um jump into the next game we return to the title screen uh for a moment i'm pretty sure it's um gonna be a chain of memories i will just check we go back real quick Congratulations on completing the game. Extras have been unlocked. Okay. What have we got in extras? But yeah, it's Chain of Memories will be the next game. We'll be starting that on Wednesday. What have we got in the extras here? Our oh, theme. The themes for completing the game. Well, I would install, I would download and install the theme, but look at that. I've already got it. For the simple reason that, um, Evan has already completed the game and downloaded the theme. But yes, guys, thank you very much indeed for tuning in and following along with this playthrough. Um, I have had an absolute blast with Kingdom Hearts 1, and I am looking forward to jumping into the next Rechain of Memories, which was, uh, I believe, originally a Nintendo DS game. But I am really excited to continue on my journey with Kingdom Hearts. Um, we're going to, as usual, throw a raid out to um, Marsh, who is streaming. So, uh, yeah, thanks, everybody. Thanks, YouTube. We'll be back real soon, kicking off the next game. But until then, I've been Nock. You've been awesome. Take care. Stay safe. And as always, happy gaming. Bye, guys.